morning 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 and welcome to another video uh, today's video is a little bit different I'm going to do a walk around of the bike um, showing you all the mods and telling you all about them roll the intro So this is just going to be a quick video of a walk round um, where I go through the mods of the bike. Now as explained before um, I've done another video on the main five um, mods that I've done which is suspension, stage two, handlebars, the seat and the floorboards and I'll put a link to that video here but this is just about a few other bits and pieces that I've done to it. So yeah the main ones I want to talk about are firstly the exhaust. Um, this is just a slip-on muffler I have done the Cobra 909 slip-on muffler which I really like the sound of however looking at it again I visually I don't really like it too much it comes out a little bit too far past the back wheel just and yeah visually that for me is just a little bit nap so anyway I'm not I haven't got the money to do a full uh, extend a uh, full exhaust so that's something that I'm not going to be doing at the moment for sure so uh, yeah other mods I want to talk about is the footboards so I have done uh, the Kuriakin uh, premium I think they are mini floorboards for both rider and passenger and the passenger they come down like that so yeah really really like them really help with the comfort of the bike I have also put on the uh, Harley Davidson Mustache Engine Guard in black, which again, not the greatest aesthetically, but hey, I do like it because if I ever do drop it, it's going to save that engine a little bit anyway. Um, aesthetically, the main aesthetic ones I've done are powder coated the wheels black. So as you can see here, both front and back have been powder coated black and I really like that, really really like that. Um, I wasn't sure about the original wheels, I thought they looked a little bit cheap to me but I really really like these. So going on, other mods, we've got the Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing with the 11 inch um, windscreen, that's a dark smoke. I have got the pyramids, uh, pyramid plastic fender extender. Now I was hoping that was going to keep some of the muck off the bike, but unfortunately, no, it doesn't. Um, it's a really bad design, and as you can see here, it just gets so much muck all over the bike, and it's really dry at the moment. So, yeah, it helps a little bit, but not, not greatly. I wish the extender, the um, fender came down a little bit further. What I have got is this as well, which is a Radguard um, from a company called Radguard in Australia. That is really good. That protects the radiator from any chips. Um, really, really like that. Easy to fix on as well. Um, what else have we got? So, yep, yeah, carry on on. The Memphis Shades. Um, handguards again really like those um, especially in the cold weather because uh, they do protect your hands a little bit but aesthetically I think it looks really nice with the style of the bike um, I've also got custom dynamics uh, running lights and indicators so let's turn the bike on and I'll show you them so again yep yeah, that just helps with visibility so they've got running lights um, when it's just running along and they turn to uh, orange indicator lights when you indicate. So again, really, really like them. Going back round to the front, let's turn this off. We have got, what else have we got? Um, too much, really. Um, the airflow grips, again, just nice aesthetically, um, don't really do too much for anything else, it's just that I like the look of them. Flush mounted uh, fuel caps and the dummy cap on the other side because this is a 2021 model. I know the newer ones only have one side but um, 
I just really like the look of those so that's I think most of it on this side and if I come round to the other side um, not too much on this other side so yeah on the other side I've got the oil cover here uh, which is a Harley Davidson's one in chrome and the chrome airflow derby cover I think that is it with the exception of one other thing which I forgot to mention while I was around here the extended brake pedal now if you look on Harley Davidson they all say they don't fit uh, the sport glide but that's rubbish um, it's just a single screw take the old one off put that on fits perfectly well and if you're short in the leg like me and you especially if you've got the stock uh, air filter the uh, the uh, main brake pedal is a little bit hard to get round and it's a little bit yeah it's just a little bit awkward so uh, yeah they're the main things um, going over the main um, other bits and pieces I've done which is in the other video but just so you can see them in a bit more detail is the built well bars so the built well bars are an 8 inch pullback riser with the uh, mid bed tracker bars and they make a hell of a difference for me being short I just found the other the, the stock bars I was just bending forward a little bit too much and they really really help I've changed the suspension as mentioned I've changed both the front and rear to progressive so I've got the progressive 465 wrap on the back with the adjustable preload um, and you've got the adjustable preloader here which is say very very similar to the um, stock you just you can change it on the fly and the drop in um, in spring inserts on the front and that has really really helped handling really helped handling also um, we've got the stage 2 with the um, Harley Davidson Screaming Eagle torque cam and the Screaming Eagle um, high airflow uh, air filter which again really really wakes this bike up really wakes this bike up and then finally the seat so yeah the seat I have just put onto a solo seat here with a Renegade um, so that is a Saddleman Renegade solo seat absolutely fantastic for solo riding um, and I have got the Renegade um, Explorer for two up riding um, and that's my videos on uh, those up in the corner there so you can have a look at those videos separately so yeah spent a lot of money on the bike as you can probably tell a little bit of an illness but I think we're there or thereabouts now so um, yeah let me know your thoughts let me know what you've done to your bike um, I absolutely love the Sport Glide I could not imagine getting rid of it now um, I've got it just how I want it so uh, yeah perfect hope you enjoyed that video so yeah if you did please press like please press subscribe uh, please press subscribe um, that would really help my channel out and hit that notification bell um, and be notified of more videos like this and riding content so yeah really appreciate your time thanks for watching ride safe ride safe stay safe and I will catch you next time